Hi everyone, welcome back to Exploration Arcanum. I'm your host Jason, and today my guest is Three Douglas. He is a practitioner of Druidism, and today he is going to talk to us about his background and his practice. You can find links to Three Douglas' social media and website in the description below. But before we begin, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to turn on notifications. Thank you. All right. D, thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Not a problem, no problem. Um, so what I was hoping we could talk about is your background and how you got into how you got involved with 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 the occult and how that um, brought you into uh, Judaism. Well, it's like um, I grew up a Quaker and it's already like an offset religion. But uh, when I was seeing like differences in the church, I was going to what they were saying and compared to like what they were doing it. It made me look into more religions, and after reading like the Quran and other books, I came across a book called Gothics, and it opened my mind to the the cult, I guess. And from there, like, um, it was really like the different people I spoke to and whatever they kind of pulled me into the Judaism. Okay, nice. So, but I mean, was it something about Judaism that that clicked with you, like something that was like? Um, beyond all this other stuff that I've read and experienced, this is what I uh, prefer. Uh, what was it about Druidism that made you say that this is what I want to become a part of, what I want to focus on, instead of one of the other paths that you are, had already studied? Um, the the difference is like there seems to be like a lot of personal choice, personal choice allowance within Judaism. Like you don't all have to believe the exact same thing, and we still get the same rituals we still perform the same actions um and then also like it's a lot about knowledge it's a lot about the things you do and not just what's to come later you know it, mm -hmm. it's it's really a about teaching and learning and a, a self self-involvement type thing okay nice and it's a it's an earth-based religion mm -hmm. now um if for somebody watching this who wanted to get involved with, with Druidism, um, is there a particular book or website you would recommend? Um, yeah, uh, a good website to start is uh, druidcircle.org. It teaches mm -hmm. a lot of the traditionals of, um, like, I guess, Irish Gothic Druidism. Um, and then the, there's a, three books that I recommend to everybody. Uh, Gothics, it really opens your mind to how there's so much differences within Judaism. And then Druids and Judaism, it's a good teaching of the history and then any book about how to read runes because mm -hmm. runes are a very important part in our stuff especially like symbolism in general it's very important and it's like you know you can have symbols that change in definition but the general thing that you're trying to teach is always the same over time gotcha and runes aren't just in druidism runes are also uh norse um what, yeah. what to call it it's Asatru. in multiple different religions yeah, yeah a lot of religion and, and even some like just straight up uh witchcraft uses runes too and not not just mm -hmm. um a particular branch i should say yeah um so we talked before on uh on twitter and so as a person who has a solitary practitioner as as yourself do you find that a little um more easy difficult what's your experience with with um solitary practice instead of with a group um i i do find it a lot easier to, to practice in general with it but i mean there are some problems where like you tend to have some unfavorable habits get built or you might make mistakes when you're doing rituals and stuff like that but for the general point of it there's so much in judaism that can be done completely on your own that it it almost like builds one's own knowledge like your own self-knowledge of yourself it kind of builds up your own curiosity and in some ways keeps pushing uh me to to learning more about it because you know it's only me then after a while i have to ask my own self questions and it's like well i don't know the answer and and judaism if you don't know the answer you might as well go find it because it's the only way to learn right <laughs> <laughs> that's true <laughs> as we like to say in our other industry do your own research <laughs> yeah yeah so you know, I we we talked about it um, before, and you know, you a lot of people are turning to um, alternative religions like paganism, Druidism, uh, Wicca, whatever, based on experiences with the mainstream. 
And do you find do you see more people coming to you asking questions about it to see how they can become involved? Um, normally, the people that ask me questions about it is they just because they know, like I don't believe in God or something like that, and that causes them confusion. Um, I don't see a whole lot of people asking about Judaism from like what you see in mainstream or anything like that, just because like like what you see in videos and stuff nowhere near the same as what actually it's about, you know. Um, but I have had questions where people ask me and they want to get involved because they, they saw like the TV show Druids or the movie Vi or the show Vikings and they thought that it was all about murder and killing. And then after I start directing them where to go and I start teaching about it and stuff, they realize, oh, this is more of a peace, loving and knowledge thing. And it's not really about what I saw, right. but still some of them still stay with it just because, um, you know, you, there's so much differences and they just find a version that they rather suit with. Right. No, and that's true because Hollywood has done a, a very good job of of portraying, of portraying uh, pagan and other religions in a very negative light. So yeah, good job Hollywood. Um, the the what I find interesting is that even even though that is true, once people start to um, actually talk to people who are involved and who actually like read books that are written by people in the specific community that negative um connotation tends to change rather quickly yeah um there's this one author that i i like and for many years her name is a uh, silver raven Loaf, silver raven wolf and she mm -hmm. wrote a lot of like wicca witchcraft yeah, books. I've, I've read some of her books and the one thing i like about it even though they can be kind of fluffy is the fact that she does have a whole section dedicated to parents you know your child's not doing anything wrong your child's not doing anything evil they're not going to hell and yada 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 and but do you do you ever experience any negative pushback from people who find out what you believe oh yeah um po probably more often than positive after people find out what i believe in and you're right it's it's all because of the uh, what they've been told from you know like uh preachers or their parents or something like that and not a not enough people look into stuff because of what they're being told mm -hmm. and they just assume what they're told is the truth and they go with it um but i've you know like especially i live in the bible belt i've had tons of problems and hey i've been kicked out of places just because they found out what i believed in and it it's crazy to see these all these different people but like within druids like there's this um saying you'll hear you'll see often where it's like um respect the differences amongst the living because there's no differences amongst the dead. Mm -hmm. And so at the same time, when I get that kind of hate and stuff, I tend to just accept that that's what they're going to believe in. I'll go on. And there's been a few times where I was kicked out of a restaurant after I ordered and had to get a refund and got kicked out that one of the people who saw me get kicked out asked, and then they ended up following a different kind of uh, non-normal or non-traditional faith because they found out they were, hey, these people who are kicking them out, believe in these traditional faiths this person doesn't and then after they talked to me and realized i'm not a bad person or anything that opened up their mind it allowed them to uh, look for something else right well and it's sad that you have you still have that people are making judgments based on appearances and things that they heard instead of just asking yeah, you know yeah. just ask me you know like what do you what what do you what is this that you believe and let's have the conversation people just don't like talking anymore they just make judgments and that's that's just it. Um, all right. So, where can we find you on social media? I know we had a little bit of uh, Twitter issue, so you have a new account. So, can you let us know what that account is? Uh, so the new accounts underscore underscore three D underscore underscore underscore. Um, uh, it's very complicated, but um, I guess the the main way to get me is I have a serverless website three D the dot ninja. Okay. And in there, there's a contact. There's a way to contact me directly, and even a little form they can fill out with what they want to say uh, when they contact me. Um, email and also all my other social accounts. Like I'm on Hive, I'm on Steemit, I'm on Somi, I, I'm on um, Rebuzz, and I generally go by the name 3D. If you go into any of those and you search 3D, you almost always find me. Yeah. Nice. So we're going to put um, 3D's information in the description below so you can contact him and find out what else he's up to. And again, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Not a problem. Thank you for having me.